welcome to our January 17th Sunday morning time of worship. Uh, if you are joining us virtually for the first time, welcome. It is a joy to have you here with us and, and worshiping with us. I hope that you find uh, our time together this morning meaningful and uplifting and you feel the presence of the Holy Spirit with you and among you. All right, our opening prayer of worship this morning. Uh, I'm going to pray our opening prayer and then a prayer of confession and then words of assurance. Let us pray. Awesome God, you knew us before we were born. You loved us into life. Open our hearts and our spirits today to hear your word for us. And upon hearing the word, may we be convicted in our hearts, through our faith, and your grace to love and serve the Lord. May our words, the good news of Jesus Christ, and actions done in ministry and mission, our very thoughts, be placed before you in judgment as it reflects your call upon our lives. Bless us with your presence and your powerful love, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Now our word of confession, our prayer of confession. Lord, somewhere long ago, someone convicted us that we would not be good material for God to use in healing and helping ministries in this world. We don't really believe that we have anything worthwhile to offer. And it can be relatively easy to give financially for missions and good works, but we do not see ourselves worthy of further involvement. Remind us of your forgiving love when we stubbornly refuse to believe your claim upon our lives. Open our hearts and our eyes to see the gifts with which you have blessed us and to commit those gifts to serving you by serving others. We know everything starts with prayer. So patient God, bear with us as we settle down to pray asking for your wisdom in our lives. Give us courage and strength to attend any task that you set before us. And give us hearts of grateful love to acknowledge your presence in our lives, and to live that presence in joy and gladness. It is in Jesus' name. our words of assurance. From the very beginning, God has blessed you and planted within you the Spirit, has planted within your spirit the words, I can do all things through God who strengthens me. Do not fear the task God sets before you. Rejoice, for God is with you in every moment. And God's love washes over you always, healing and nourishing your life. Isn't that good news? 